Hi friends! Good day! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I'm going to talk about the fundamental differentiators of the so-called new reach. So I'm going to make a reference in the book of Tim Ferriss, The 4-Hour Work Week. And in his book, he defined that the new rich are those who abandon the deferred life plan and create luxury lifestyles in the present using the currency of the new rich, time, and mobility. So my initial notion of being rich is having so much money, more than what a person needs in a daily basis in order to survive. And having that notion of being rich as someone who doesn't look at the price tags whenever he buys stock, goods, or services, and the ability to go on a vacation without having to worry about the expenses. Those are fundamentally my notion of being rich. But being rich is more than the monetary aspect. And it is in this book of Tim Ferriss wherein he really defined the new rich in the context of those people who have the time and mobility. The ability to control time is one indicator of a person's richness. Not trading time for money is clearly the true measure of how rich a person is. Having the time to spend with my family and important people because I know I have cash flow coming in week after week is something that I aspire to achieve. And this is the time aspect of the new rich described by Tim Ferriss. The other one is the mobility and escaping the 9-to-5 lifestyle and live anywhere is what most people dream. But even though we already know this, why are we still stuck in the rat race cycle? Why are we choosing that? Why are we still choosing to stay as a corporate slave for so long? And I realized only those who were able to join the new rich are able to figure out. Now that we have defined the new rich and the benefits enjoyed by these people, let's dig deep on the five fundamental differentiators of the new rich in terms of the principles they apply in their lives. So the first principle is less is not laziness. Doing less meaning less work so that you can focus on things of greater personal importance is not laziness. The new rich, despite fewer hours in the office, produce more meaningful results than the next does the non-new rich combine. Focus on being productive instead of being busy. This is somehow similar to the Pareto's law or the 80-20 principle which I discussed in detail in the previous productivity video. Focus on the few important things that produce the most significant results. And the second principle is, timing is never right. For all the most important things, the timing is never favorable. The stars will never align. The universe doesn't conspire against you, but it doesn't go out of its way to line up all the pins either. Conditions are never perfect. Someday is a disease that will take your dreams to your grave with you. Don't wait for a confirmation, affirmation, sign, or a positive emotion. Go for it. Because if it's important to you and you want to do it eventually, just do it and correct the course along its way. And the third principle is ask for forgiveness, not permission. If it isn't going to devastate those around you, try it then justify later. If the potential damage is minimal, or in any way reversible, don't give people the chance to say no. Most people are fast to stop you before you get started but hesitant to get the way if you are moving. Do not only evaluate the potential downside of action, it is equally important to measure the atrocious cost of inaction. So have that bias towards action. And the fourth principle is, money alone is not the solution. There is so much to be said for the power of money as a currency, but adding more of it just isn't the answer. If I only had more money, it's the easiest way to postpone the intense self-examination and decision-making necessary to create a life of enjoyment, now and not later. Having lots of money doesn't make you different. It just makes you more of who you were before you made the cash. And the fifth and final principle for this video is that Relative income is much more important than absolute income. Absolute income is measured using an inalterable variable, pesos, or dollars, while relative income uses two variables, pesos and time, usually in hours. 
Let's look at this example. Chris makes 50,000 pesos per week, working 10 hours a day for 5 days. While well, Mark, on the other hand, earns half of that a week for 25,000 pesos and only hustles 4 hours a week. The hourly rate of Chris is therefore 1,000 pesos per hour, while Mark is 6,250 pesos per hour. Who do you think is richer? Who do you think has more time and mobility? And those are the five fundamental differentiators of the new age. If you guys learned from it, comment down below your greatest takeaway. And you might want to ask yourself also if those principles are applicable to yourself or if you agree to those principles by the new age, as described by Tim Ferriss in his book. And yeah, make time for some reflection because it's already the second half of March, first quarter of 2023 is ending. So we should be learning a lot by this point of the year. And yeah, I would appreciate if you would subscribe in my channel, like this video if you think this is really likable, share it to your friends and loved ones. And I hope you would have a great second quarter of 2023. And yeah, have a great day ahead and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!